All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Three Bulls in a Bar. I've got um, the big, beautiful Rossi Pelt and my new little apprentice, Sam Hallis. <laughs> big things come in little packages. Um, boys, Christmas break, how was it? Not bad, not bad. Steady away, really. Yeah? Just chilled out. Didn't do much. Yeah. You boys might excited. Yeah, yeah. I, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. You know, I thought London were good. I know um, it's coming up next already. They were, uh, they were one of it. Right, so I set a scene. There's a, <laughs> there's a bridge in London. There's one of one of the bridges in London. There's many bridges, I admit. Well, I walk across one of them with my girlfriend in hand, and you know. And anyway, so and there's like the House of Parliament in front of me. It looks really nice, right? And then you hear this, Sammy, Sammy, <laughs> hey, hey. Like that. Oh no, it can't be London, capital city, <laughs> one of the biggest cities in the world. Turns around, this guy's there, isn't he? You know what I mean? Can't, the one can't, and only. Can't, can't escape him. But yeah, apart from that, I'm all right. Apart from that, I'm What did right. I say? I, go, what, oh, I said, what are you doing for dinner? Oh, yeah. Hard Rock Cafe. Hard Rock Cafe. <laughs> go, mate, there's that many good places to eat down in London. You're going to Hard Rock Cafe. <laughs> That's all one right. of the best. That's one of the best. <laughs> um, so I've just played against Halifax. First, first little run out with the boys. How do you reckon they went? How do you guys feel? Decent. Felt good. Get a run out, you know. Boys were strong, kept them on to score early in the like, first 10 minutes. Defensive effort was quality. You know, came off with an injury at the end for myself, but that's sweet now, so I'll be back this week. So yeah, happy days, man. I think you started a bit slow, wasn't it? Yeah, I thought we did. Yeah, we did. We didn't really get off bus, so to speak. Um, but then I thought we we booked his ideas up, and I thought I thought what well, I was really impressed with. We didn't overcomplicate everything. You know, we sort of we, we stayed simple. We completed the sets both offensively and defensively. Um, but I, I thought we went really well, and I, I was really impressed with how we went. And I think. You know, to say that's his first game, all really rusty. Um, not too much, not too much skill was no, done. No, I, th I, th I think that, I think he's promising. In the lead-up, was it? Well. Exactly. And just just the way that you bounce back after that poor start uh, shows that everyone's bought into what we're all about this year. Yeah, 100%, which, which is defence. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Uh, what about the young boys? We've got a few young lads that, that, that got a run. Young Rowan got a run. Yeah, Rowan got a run there. Buddy end. had a run. Um, yeah, but he had a run. Yeah, but he had a run last season. He went still impressing like he was before. Um, Jamming as well, he's a young lad, he looked quite good taking ball forward, so, you know, it's looking hopeful for us in the future, yeah. Well, I thought, well, yeah, what? Well, um, oh, yeah. <laughs> We've got someone else. <laughs> Four balls in a bar. Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> what I thought were impressive were um, how composed Roma, you know, yeah. I thought when he, when he came on, I thought he, um, he really took control and put a few nice little kicks in and, you know, I thought I thought he just took control of the game really well, and I thought, you know, for a half back to sort of come on with 20 minutes to go, um, but make sort of the impact that he did. I thought I, I was really impressed with him, and like you said, Reese thought Reese went well, and everybody wasn't getting his head taken off. I thought he went well. <laughs> it's good. It's good to see when um, like we've seen these kids train and, and do so well in training, but to put it back out onto the field is um, it's it's very pleasing to see, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, what what difference do you think John has made to the to the squad since he's come on? Um, I think he's just. I think it's that stability that he, that he gives. You know, I think he's already got the respect of all all of us. You know, he's, yeah, he, um, You know, when, when he talks, we, we we all definitely listen. You know, and we really take on board what he's saying because you know, like he's obviously got that reputation behind him. Um, but I think I think it's good that we're all we're all buying into that and we're all sort of singing off the same hymn sheet. And I think you know, it's, it makes it it makes good for good for the season. I think he doesn't want. A lot out of us, but what he does want the little things. He just wants it to be good, doesn't it? Yeah, 100%. like he doesn't. He doesn't feed us. with just like he just doesn't overfeed us. Like he just wants everything simple. He wants us yeah. just to defend really well, and then off the back of that, I'm sure he's going to bring a lot more in. But right now, it's just so simple what he wants from us. But we just need to be doing it good. 100%. Them like one, them one percenters, isn't it? Like he's all big on them one percenters and them small efforts. And I think the more the more of them we get, the the, the better the bigger picture looks. You know what I mean? Sure. And how's um training for Sheffield coming along? It's going well, you know, like the boys have said, you know, John likes to keep it simple, focus on shutting teams out, you know, keep them scoreless, and then the rest of the land on itself. So, boys have been digging in, you know, been elaborating more on how we play, when we get a good ball, getting the right positions, you know, Chizzy's back training. So, second session. Good. Yeah. I'm still, a, I'm still a little bit off, I think, yeah. but um, I think, so, I think we've done, I think we've gone well, you know, like we're adding more and more. I think it were a bit, a bit slow, obviously, because. Um, the pitches were closed over over the winter period. We missed a few skill sessions. Yeah, but um, I thought when we've gone back on, we don't look like we've missed a few skill sessions. I think we look really good. And um, again, we've bought into what John's John's put more in place. And we've bought into that. And 
I think we're implementing it really well, so can't, can't cry. Yeah, exactly. Um, expectations of Sheffield, um, being an ex-player there, I know firsthand that they're going to be taking us on straight down the middle. Uh, they like doing a lot of Matty Fozard, he's a, he's, a, he's a fast little hooker and he does a lot of work, so he's one that you've got to watch out for. But they're just a big team that always just goes straight for the middle, don't they? Yeah, but I mean, they've lost Mark Mexico, so that's one of their biggest threats, he's gone, you know. Picked up Johnny Magran. Yeah, Jimmy Magran, he's slotted in and out of middle. So. There's a few ex balls there now, isn't there? Yeah, I think there are, there are a few players down, you know, they haven't got a full squad, so they haven't really been able to work on things. I think they're waiting for a few to come in on dual reg, even for this friendly, so. I don't really know what to expect from them. I, feel, I reckon they'll be totally different from last season as well. So, yeah, yeah I, th I think you know, just on the just on the boys that have left us and, and gone there, I think um, Illy's going to be a real threat. You know, returning the ball. I think he's one of the best ball returners. You know, in, in certainly he'll be one of the best in the championship, definitely. Um, Magrin again carries a ball harder than I've ever seen. Um, and Oscar, you know, Oscar's a really skillful player out back, and he, he can, you know, he can. He can find a pass, but he can go himself as well, so he'll be a threat. So I think there's going to be threats all over. So Jimmy carried that ball out of the I think we're going to try and get in Jimmy's head a little bit, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, definitely. The he big fella. Quickly. Very quick. Oscar as well. OT is back. Yeah. Yeah. He, when did, he's just signed like recently, today, hasn't he? It? Yeah, like today, it's just come yeah. out today. Yeah. So it's good to see that he's, that he's found a home finally and yeah. hopefully has a good season. Nice. Uh, boys, another topic, me back at training. <laughs> Um, I, find, I finally come back. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm what, two, two skill sessions in. Um, I'm hoping for round one. I hope to see what happens. I, I don't know with me. I think it's just a, a time thing with my knee. Yeah. Uh, I just want to come back and, and not really, you know, re rupture it. I just want to get back to full, okay. fully fit and then get back. I'm in no rush, but I'm still aiming for round one. Okay. I've, said, I've said to you over a coffee, and I'm like, don't rush it back. You know, you, I mean, you're all right. Yes, you are. Play, you know, play a normal game and just do what you need to do. And see I think, what happens. I think, you know, you might be in front row, you never know. Because <laughs> <laughs> he reckons I'm looking big. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter about the pre season as long as you're back for round one. Yeah. Matters, it? Um, big news with the Bulls. Um, one of the boys, Ethan Ryan, got on the knee. Yeah. What do you think about that? Mate, he did it in spectacular fashion, did he? New he did. York, there's snow and all that. Yeah, good background. Yeah. Done it on that big rock in New York. Unbelievable, yeah. isn't it? Unbelievable. Couldn't yeah. wait to tell all the boys. Right, we must be on good money. Yeah, New I York, know. engaged with ring. Yeah. I was taking our last fucking Madigan Park. <laughs> <laughs> no, half time at Rockford City. I thought he should have done it at half time down on the field in front of all the fans or something. Yeah. That was a bit more romantic, don't you think? Yeah, who cares about New York 100%. Central Park? Who cares about no that? One cares. No one knows who he is there, whereas over here he's a legend. 100%. We've got Ethan Ryan. Should have done like a diving forward roll, then open the Yeah, that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put it in corner open. Oh, how good. Yeah, good grass too, no, yeah. Yeah, big congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations, congratulations yeah. to uh, Ethan Ryan and his missus. So, um, yeah, be good to her, brother. But yeah, that's it from us. Um, three, three balls in a bar. Um, good to have you guys here. We'll eat, each week we'll be back now, now that we're back to uh, full training. Hopefully we'll see you guys down at Sheffield. And um, thanks for having us.